there's one star in Bollywood who's managed a near-perfect score at the box office, and that's actress Katrina Kaif. After her near-fatal debut in Boom, Katrina bounced back with a string of hits. Mene Piar Kukia, Apne Partner, and Welcome were all major hits at the marquee. And for a woman who can barely speak Hindi, that's quite an achievement. This week, she's hoping to add race in her list of money makers. We caught up with Katrina in Bombay for this exclusive interview. When I first heard the story, honestly, my first reaction was it's a fantastic story and it's it's a subject which I've you know not um, I've not seen or heard anything like this recently. In America, if you go to see, you always have big star cast movies and you have someone coming in and they, they're doing something. The story may not revolve just around them, but it's nice to be a part of a film like that. I think the youth are really going to enjoy this film. I think it's just going to be it's just going to be a different experience. And it's not often we get to do thrillers and, you know, these kind of everyone out to get each other rules. Seth had also spoken and said this is going to be a great film and you know it's like my baby this film. <laughs> One particular sequence that he's done in the movie. When, when I saw it, I was like, "You're just crazy." I mean, don't do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't do it. It's just ridiculous. He had to jump off this incredibly high building. You know, they have a cable, but he's swinging across like this entire road, highway in in South Africa is where we were at the time. I said, "Don't do it." I mean, anything can happen. It's too. You fall from there. There's no coming back. It's bye bye. <laughs> the end. And he was so enthusiastic, and he was up for it. That's, I think that's great. That's that's really dedication to wanting the film to be great. I had met Seth at some function, so I kind of knew him. I'd never met Akshay before, and I'd been told that he's a very, very quiet person, and he's really withdrawn. You know, he kind of gives one word replies. You know, so how are you today? I'm fine. So after a while, you know, it's, it's like that. But then once I got to know him, he was actually, he's, he's, he's a complete darling. He's a very, very genuine soul. He's very shy, and he's not, like, you know, people, some people have the gift of talking, and they can just talk to anyone. He's not like that. The best thing about this film and something which I've also noticed about Abbas Mustanji's films is they don't generally tend to have characters hanging around for no reason. When someone comes in in the film, their character is there for a point and they have a very strong line. Their the character is defined. It comes in, it goes out and then it ends. There's, it's a start to finish. It's not just kind of this one floating in and then that one floating in. <laughs> Film, um, I released in America about a month back and it's called P.S. I Love You. If you want to see the film, there's this guy called, actor called Jared Butler who's a very, very huge star in America and he, he has done such a small role in the film because he, he's actually, he dies in the film but he keeps coming in flashbacks and the main film is with Hilary Swank but the whole film, you leave the film, you take him with you, you know? So, that, that thinking is something which I think is really important to never never feel that oh, I'm too big of a star, or I'm so great that, you know, I, the film always has to be about me. I, I always think that the film should always, it should always be about the film. Is this a good film? Is it, is it going to be a film the audience will enjoy? Will they like this film? And if it is, then you should do it.
gorgeous Katrina Kaif is confident race will be another winner at the box office. Abbas Mustang's thriller is now playing in theaters everywhere.